I love having people like you on that do multiple things. You act, you write, you're an improv master, you're a musician, <laughs> you have a podcast, Yeah. Uh, you do VO. Um, it is a lot of stuff. And you're all over Probably the place. Probably too much. <laughs> That's, but, but you're all over the place. You're in the new John Wick movie. I am. You, are, you pop up in The Good Place. Yep. You're on Andrea Savage's show, I'm Sorry, mm -hmm. which is really funny. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's a funny thing now. When I see you on television, I'm like, I just kind of settle in, and I know it's going to be an enjoyable I'm, ride. I do feel very lucky to be one of those people that now is like gets to pop up on shows yeah. and, and be people's like, oh, there's that guy again. Or for the people that are like, oh, this guy again. <laughs> I'm out there making people's nights or ruining people's <laughs> nights, and I'm thrilled to be doing it. <laughs> well, out of all those things you do, is there... Is there one that you would say defines you more than the others or one that... If I had to erase everything but one, it would be stage work. I would keep UCB, you know, I came up in the, uh, you know, the New York improv scene in right. like the late 90s, early 2000s that was mostly centered around the then kind of brand new Upright Citizens Brigade Theater, uh, which has now become such a kind of staple sure. of modern comedy. It wasn't a big thing. It wasn't a recognizable name. Um, and so at that point, you know, I feel like my friends and I talk a lot about how lucky we were to be in at that first kind of that first era of UCB because we just got a tremendous amount of stage time. Also, we were very lucky both because we were eight, we were there at a time when the whole community felt very small and felt very much like we were all, um, the nature of improv is built on support. You know, the whole ethos of improv is yes and. You know, like, I agree with you and let me add to that. You right. know, that whole idea. That makes a very good guest, by the way. Yeah, right? And it makes a very good scene. Yeah. It makes a very yeah. good show. It makes a very, all of it. It makes, by the way, it makes a very good life. If you can implement that kind of an ethos into your life, improvising your way through life sounds great. I wish I could do that as well as I improvise on stage, <laughs> you know? But doing the stage work, you know, I do a show every Friday night. I do yep. a show every Wednesday night here in town. Those are the things that I want. Those are the things that, like, if you took that away, I worry everything else would fall apart. And so that's the thing that I feel like is either best representative or is the thing that I value or would protect the most, you know, is live performance. It's a beautiful thing what you're describing is that you sort of discovered that the thing you love was not just a stepping stone to other things. You love the process and the, oh, yeah. the doing of it much more than the trappings Well, it's like of... sometimes people will say in interviews like, uh, oh, you know, you're, uh, you're on this thing or you're in this show or I love you on that or whatever. Like, but I, I, you, you still do shows at UCB. Like, why? Like, you, you did it. You, you, you know, thinking like, that's like... Uh, the minor leagues. Yeah, and then you graduate into TV and film or whatever. And to me, I'm like, oh no, that is like, that's the whole, that's everything. You know, uh, that's the engine that gets you through uh, TV, film, or all of it is that. And it, were I to, I, I fear, were I to let that atrophy, uh, I would be... We, we were just talking about this last week because a friend of ours, we did our show, and a, one of the guys in the show is like, man, I haven't been to the show in like six weeks. I felt really rusty. And it is. Like, if you get out of practice, it's almost like exercise. If you don't exercise for like two months and then you like run five miles, you're a mess. Improvising is the same thing. It's a muscle that you exercise. And exercising it and keeping it, keeping it like healthy makes you just better at all the rest of it. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.